Like, literally, my whole life is going to shit. Everyone I know has been lying to me for years, and, and I can't even trust my own memories. I feel like reality is just unraveling around me all the time. Hey, I get that Tyler being back has raised a lot of questions for you, but maybe take a step back from that ledge, okay? The last few days have been a lot, and it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Your alley. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but. They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. 
I mean it. Heidi. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have... Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Weather's getting colder day by day. I love it. Hmm, <laughs> dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing bold. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. 
Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Hey, Gregs. Uh, never mind. What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. We haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? Yep. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. Eh, well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. <sighs> Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> And this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, and not a troublemaker. Tyler. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Okay. Okay. I 
been here before. This will pass. <sighs> I just need to breathe in and out. Follow the circles. <sighs> Just keep going in and out. <sighs> 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now, come on. Wait, Chief, just a sec. Hey, uh, kids, I um, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> this is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault.
That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I... is the one who... had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. I, I killed her. I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He... He went to Fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. They pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. 
was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the...